What's up guys, this video is titled, you don't have a bad back, you have bad muscles. And hear me out because I'm gonna go full circle on why this is the case and why I believe that you don't have a back problem but you have a muscle problem. And I'm gonna show you specific tests on how to prove that you have weak and stiff muscles and not a back problem. So for you guys who don't know me, my name is Ben, I'm the founder of Back Muscle Solutions, the creator of this channel, the creator of QL Claw. And I make all this stuff because there's a lot of people with back pain and I don't want you to be one of them. Let's get into it. Very few people tend to actually realize that your muscles hold together your entire body. Everything about how you move, how you exist, how your posture is, how everything intertwines in your body is held together by muscles. And these muscles can be your biggest detriment, they can cause you the most pain in the world, and they can also be your biggest asset. If they're flexible, they're strong, they're mobile, you can move about freely, or they can attack you on the opposite end of the spectrum. So where do you wanna be? Do you wanna have awesome muscles or do you wanna have muscles that literally attack your body and cause you pain? And if you have back pain right now, I'm gonna bet that you're on this end of the spectrum. You're weak, you're weak, you're stiff, you have knots and trigger points that need to get a lot of attention, and you are so far from this. And this is where I wanna get you guys. I want you to make you guys into machines. I want you to be able to do any physical activity you want, be able to pick anything up off the ground, not have back pain ever. So there's two things I wanna show you to prove to you that if you can do these two things, you are going to be well on your way to having optimized, awesome, full stack, bulletproof muscles. Here are the two standards. They're going to be palms to floor flexibility and a two minute side plank. And if you can't do these two things, I don't even wanna hear that you have a bad back because I guarantee you your muscles aren't strong enough, flexible enough, or just good enough in general to be able to withstand daily life. If you can't do these two standards of a two minute side plank and full palms to floor flexibility until you fix those muscle problems, I don't wanna hear you have a bad back because fix these and I guarantee your pain will go away. All right, first I'm gonna show you a full two minute side plank, what that looks like, and then while I'm doing it, I'm gonna talk through why it's helpful and why you need to get this done and how it's gonna bulletproof your back. So I've got zero on the timer right now. I'm gonna go back there and do a two minute side plank. <laughs> Let you guys see how it goes. Zeros. All right, here we go. We're on the clock. So, two minute side plank. Why this is awesome and why I think it's better than the front plank. There's a whole lot of reasons. I'm gonna try to stay on track because this is gonna get really challenging. So you're gonna see me struggle and try to talk through this at the same time. So, there's a lot of muscles that are very important in a strong, well-rounded, bulletproof low back. A couple of huge ones are QL and obliques. And those are the main targeters of the side plank and ones that don't get worked very well when you're doing a standard front plank or ab exercises in the frontal plane. So first off, the, your QLs and your obliques are working very hard, and they have no choice but to work hard in this exercise. In addition, you're pulling in effort from the abs in the front, your erectors and your multifidus in the back. Every single muscle is going to work here. And if you have muscles that have been taking a nap for a long time, they're gonna wake up when you do this because they have to. Otherwise, you will not be able to hold this position for two minutes. So I'm at one minute so far. So yeah, I can already feel my QLs and my obliques fatiguing and my, my abs in the front and my back muscles, my paraspinals starting to pull in a little bit. And so that's gonna happen in your full two minute side plank. All of these muscles are going to start firing and then everything's just gonna grow, be strong, and you're not gonna have any weak links in your chain. Because if you have pain right now and you're weak, I guarantee you have weak links in your chain. And even if you have a huge deadlift or a huge squat, you can still have weak links. Doesn't mean you're, you're an optimized individual. All right, minute 30. What else? So why this is better than the front plank? So the front plank does not pull in these supporting muscles quite like the side plank does. The QLs and the obliques just don't work nearly as hard. Oh my gosh, I'm burning. They, they can totally take a nap while you're doing a front plank and you're really only working the muscles in the front, if that, because a lot of people do front planks wrong. Okay, five more seconds. Three, two, three. There you go. Until you can do that, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear you have a bad back, you have bad muscles, you gotta get stronger. If you want a way to get stronger, check out my Back of Steel program, that will get you there. The second reason I think you have bad muscles and not a bad back is you're stiff and you're not flexible. So the, the standard that I like to use for flexibility is palms to floor flexibility. And guys, both of these things were things I could not do. Like I wasn't born with these abilities, I crafted them and cultivated this over about four years of trial and error, then I finally got to them and then I thought I was competent enough to make a channel and a program about it. So the palms before flexibility is gonna open up so much of your life. Like you'll never be nervous about picking anything up. Like you're, you're gonna be so much more competent just in terms of a physical presence in life. Like you can do any sort of manual labor. Like you know how demoralizing it is when you can't 
shovel snow at your parents' house? Like, my 56-year-old dad, he has to do the snow shoveling because my back hurts. Like, that's absolutely demoralizing. Or I can't play pick up basketball with my friends because my back hurts. Like, not being able to be a physical presence in the world is a very, very depressing thing. Don't wish that on anybody. So, we need to get you guys more flexible because you don't have a bad back, you have bad muscles. So the standard is full palms to floor and lock out the knees. You can't do this. You want to get there and how to get there is my flexible back program. So that's it. This one was a little bit of a rant. I kind of went all over the place there, but the whole point of the video is your back isn't bad. Your muscles are bad. Saying you have a bad back is like saying you have a bad forehead. It's just an area of the body. The reason your forehead doesn't hurt is because there's no muscles pulling and wrenching on it. And it's just, there's less moving parts up here. Your back is just an area. It's not inherently bad. Fix the muscles, fix the pain. Try it out.